Tata Altros is an already famous hatchback in the country. It has already sold more than 1 lakh units. Back when it was launched, it was widely praised apart from the engine. Tata addressed that issue and launched the Tata Altros i Turbo. The design and features are almost same on all the Altros, so I'm just going to quickly rush through the design because the main uh, reason for this video is the i-turbo ride handling and engine and all of that. I'm going to get to it very quickly, but let's talk about the design first. The design of the car is uh, very, very sporty, cutting, edgy and uh, athletic, if I must say so. It's got projector, LED headlamps, follow me headlights. The functionality of the headlamps are really, really nice. You can actually see through a long way in the darkness. From the side as well, the profile stance is uh, really nice. It's got 16-inch dual-tone laser-cut alloys and uh, the rear door is integrated on the C panel, which looks very, very sporty. One of the very nice features on this car is the 90-degree opening of the doors which means you have enough space to get in and out of the car i really like it so i thought i'll open the gates and show it to you the upgrade on i turbo is the contrast black uh, roof the rear of the car has this very sophisticated spoiler there is split led headlamps and an i turbo badge to distinguish it from the rest let's look at the boot space in the car the boot space is 345 liters which is pretty nice for a hatchback. The rear seat seems to be very comfortable. There's enough leg room. There's decent uh, head space. It is very sophisticated and classy for sure. It looks premium. The seat quality is very nice. It's all leatherate. There's an armrest in the middle, which obviously enhances your uh, comfort at the back. Now this is an almost flat bed floor, so three people can sit here comfortably. There are AC vents, there's a charging port here and there is a lot of space on the door handles to keep your bottles and your other daily stuff. There are seat pockets here as well. It's pretty spacious. You've got isofix seat clamps for kids. The cabin space is very nice, it's evenly spread, it looks pretty premium, I must say this upholstery is very nicely done, it's perforated for more cushioning and greater comfort, it's not ventilated of course, but they're comfortable. The steering wheel also has leatherate on it, it's flat board steering wheel, it's pretty premium to look at, there's a leather cover here on the stick as well. There is cup holders in the center. There is tray for your uh, daily stuff. There's an adjustable armrest as well. You can open it, there's some space here as well. Not a lot, but a little. Now it's got 15 liter of uh, space in the glove box itself. It's cool. You can uh, cool your drinks on the way. So it's pretty convenient and cool, right? There's color combination here as well. There's this chrome finished dashboard. This is hard plastic, beige, gray. So nice color scheme running through the entire cabin space. Looks very nice, the Herman speakers, which is best in its class. It's got quick start and stop. It's got a button start here. It's got a uh, charging point here, USB here. So all the basic tech facilities are available on this car. There's cruise control on the handle as well. All right, let's look at the digital instrumental cluster. It's analog, the speed is analog. Rest of the things is digital. You can set your cruise control here. You have two driving modes, city and sport. Sports drive mode activated. I'll show you the sports mode when I start driving it. Let's look at the basic functionality. This is your touch screen. There's a button to go to home. You've got really nice Herman speakers. You've got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You can obviously connect your phone. Now, I know almost all the cars have voice commands now, but this one has 
English voice commands. You can actually control your climate with English commands. You want to see temperature come kar do. All right, AC ka temperature ghata kar 22.5 kiya ja raha hai. I had one go it understood my Indian accent so that is pretty cool right let's look at the other features on the car you can obviously put your USB here there's ambient mode lighting in the car there is bluetooth connect it's got turn by turn navigation idle start stop one of the very cool features is this car has is the express cool option which the company claims that it cool 70% faster 70% which is really cool right especially in the summers in delhi it's going to be awesome because usually the car gets hot boxed and while you and as soon as you sit in it it's just become very very difficult so express cool is going to help you there let's start with the most fun part that is driving and the reason why we are reviewing the Altros i turbo let's start with the numbers this is 1.2 liter turbocharged petrol engine there is only petrol option available in this one it's three cylinder that produces 110 max power and 140 nmf torque which is pretty nice when you compare it to the naturally aspirant petrol variants although it is still a little less than the competition has to offer for example i20 or the volkswagen polo having said that it doesn't mean that this drives any less this is a much better drive than the naturally aspirant petrol variant this has more power of course it it has more torque so this is a turbocharged engine however initially i do not feel the turbo the power is linear throughout the rev range from the second gear to the fifth one this is five speed manual transmission dct is yet to come it's getting delayed but there is no other option available it's not automatic yet so it's fine hence we can have a lot of fun with this manual especially the enthusiast this is a good drive for enthusiast you can exploit the most amazing chassis that is on this car at the corners it is so easy to get in and out of corners you have ample of torque and power available even at third gear the gearbox too feels rather smooth and the clutch is light to operate the suspension is stiff it's pretty nice on uneven roads Although the cabin noise is there especially the outside noise and the traffic does get to you there could have been insulation in the car because this is a premium product but i guess it's fine tata has invested in safety this car has five star rating from global ncap which is awesome right we need much safer cars in india safety has to be a priority and like i said 1 lakh customers has bought this car and most of them have got it because of safety so chassis is a big advantage on this car especially like i mentioned getting in and out of corners is awesome it's smooth i turbo has two driving modes city and sports let's engage the sports i mean there is difference but not a lot minor difference in sports and city the natural aspirant petrol variant gets a uh, two modes also but instead of sport it gets eco so you have punch in the torque in the slow speeds as well even at 20 30 40 you get enough punch and torque for really smooth city rides to maneuver it's very easy the steering weighs up pretty nicely and on highways as well like i mentioned the steering keeps you connected to the ground which is a very nice thing speed breaker very nice and easy out of the speed breaker all right so i was talking about the steering wheel it's very responsive it's very smooth tata claims that the i turbo can do 0 to 100 in almost 12 seconds like seriously 11.9 seconds 0 to 100 it's not as good as uh, the competition but this car really shines in the mid range getting like 80 to 100 is very easy and also on the highway you can 
cross three digits very easily. 120 is the most enjoyable speed on this car on the highways, of course. And because it gets five star rating, it's Tata, the chassis is dependable. You can have a lot of fun on the highways as well. And because this is a premium hatchback, it's a family car. So comfort and safety is going to be looked at. Talking about the safety, it's got dual airbags in the front with disc brakes. There's dumb brake at the rear, although I think disc brakes should be standard on all vehicles. Specifically to India, I think that should be a rule now. So this is a five-seater and fuel tank capacity is 37 litres. The company claims it gives 18 kilometre per litre, but in the settings here, it shows uh, the mileage to be 14, 15, so obviously it depends on how you drive but uh, 14 and 15 is assured. The engine is much much more refined now, especially in the city, it is so easy to drive. You can maneuver in traffic very easily and now because there is a little turbo so the speed is constant even at low speeds and higher RPMs, it's very very smooth. You don't have to gear shift a lot like till second, third, it's pretty nice. Now for potholes and uh, bad roads, it's got it's got a ground clearance of 160 mm. So this is a good vehicle for all kinds of roads. This is a turbo charge, so I was expecting a little turbo right in the beginning. I don't get that. I miss that because the competition does has to offer and turbo gets you excited, but it's okay. This is a fun drive and I'm sure I can feel all the turbo and uh, the performance when in the hills at the corners because that is where you can exploit this car and have a time of your life. It's too much fun driving. Tata Altros finally gets the engine that it deserves. Now this is an almost perfect car. Tata Altros is available in six colors, Cosmo Dark, High Street Gold, Downtown Red, Arcade Grey, Avenue White and for iTurbo, the Harbour Blue. You can spot this car from a distance, it's such a happy color, I love it. Now the price is the major factor to make a decision to buy any car, right? Uh, the iTurbo starts from uh, XT variant which is available from 8,9990 and uh, goes till XZ plus dark variant which is available at 9,39900. So the price bracket is nice, the engine is finely enjoyable and obviously this car looks stunning so I don't really see no reason to buy this i-turbo car of course and it's got 5 star rating from Global NCAP. I think that should be the biggest reason to buy this car. I would say go for it.